Officer Brennan. Hi. I'm Grace McLeod. Marcus's fiance. Nice to meet you. When's the big day? Uh, not for a while yet. Um, I'm not really a puffy meringue dress kind of girl. <laughs> Our families are a bit... Um... Anyway, I... I know my sister spoke to you about the horse. Mm. I appreciate you've got a business to run, but you seem like a decent bloke. I've never seen Marcus like this before. He misses his brother so much. I know he's going to regret this decision as soon as he comes through the grief. Grace, what exactly do you want me to do? <sighs> You'd make me a very happy woman if you rip up the contract and let us take the horse back. Please. Mr. Collins, your son's in a critical condition. I need your consent to operate on him. Yes, but I need to see him first. Well, of course you can. I think you should prepare yourself. Your son is unconscious and on life support. He's breathing through a hole in his throat. Yeah, but I don't care about that. I just need to see him. What's happening? Uh, we'll just wait here. Five milligram bolus of dazzle. What's going on? Ufi's up to 175 and 112. Ventilator pressure's gone up. Hey, stop ignoring me. What's listen, going on? Listen, he's had a seizure. They're trying to help him. We'll wait outside. Come on. I'm not going anywhere. Proper loading does a barbitone. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Served by him for a change, isn't it? Usually wouldn't give you the steam up his own bed, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, Big Jim. <laughs> You're looking pretty thirsty. Ah, uh, <laughs> um, very real thirsty. There's all this stuff I got to do. Ah, uh, come on, Professor. It's the end of the week. Yeah, it's better Let me be chef you here. Yes, it's about time someone gave Big Jim a run for his money. Yeah, and you sure as hell got our vote. Yep. yep. Oh. Hey, Glenda. What Hello, do you reckon? Glenda, look. You can today. Yeah. I mean, you've seen lots of boys in, in Mitch's condition. I mean, what are we talking? 70 30? 60 40? Worse than that? Look, Mr. Collins, your son's injuries are life threatening, and there's a real possibility that he won't make it. This is bullshit, Tim. Who supplies you? What? No one supplies me. Oh, yeah. So you're telling me you've got a little import-export business up north, are you? Get real. You go up there for holidays, bring the shit back into the country in your bag, a couple of $5 T-shirts from Bangkok and a bottle of Scotch duty free. He's crazy, right? No, you're the one who's crazy, Tim. See, we found the stuff in your car. How else do you get it? You just told us that no one supplies you. Huh? Yeah, I heard you. No way. Now, you either wait for my lawyer, or I'm out of here. Well, we'll wait outside. Wait! Hey, Mitch. It's me, Dad. I'm here. I love you, mate. They have to go now. I can't lose him. I don't intend to lose him. Listen, why don't we find somewhere to sit down and can I get you something to drink? I don't know. Where I put it? Just stay here for me. All right? <laughs> 